Shake em up, 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 shake Shy shake em shake Wake em up, wake em up, let em fly Shy shake em shake Bet, bet, won't work, can't take price Shy shake em shake Beat, bang, bang, it's by J. Sky Shake em up, shake We just here for a lick and then better right back Shake em up, shake Feel the crush on my click and the blast from the clock Shake em up, shake We be dropping them gems when we stock a few racks Shake em up, shake Wanna run with the wolves, we the three from the pack Shake em up, shake We be pushing these words and won't pull em back we gon' step for the set and the power is black Ace, deuce, fever, five, sevens, I'll let the dogs walk Two, three, five, plus big red, bring the bank bags where the cars park Bet I know how to squash walk, you don't move how a boss walk In my zone, hear God talk, this dice came raised from the hard star Raw work films who shot ya, like shot touch, dice shake show This uno, the madness, it's the boogie brad, it's the funny man show We go, dice shake, ran up a bitch check and we bustin' it down Dice shake, litty the city, we runnin' the town you be gunning your muffin, we running you down. Shy shake, shaking the dice, and we loving that sound. Shy shake, either you die or shake the dice. Shy shake, break them up, break them up, let them fly. Shy shake, bet, bet, won't work, can't take price. Shy shake, beat, bang, bang, and it's by J. Sky. Dice Shakers Network, this is the Dice Shakers Podcast, brought to you by Raw Work Films, Vince Uno Madness, Boogie Brad, yep. Funny Man Joe, you know the fuck going on? Hollywood Ray in the spot, Hello. Nino Bugatti, Meat Dog, Producer Extraordinaire, <laughs> hell yeah, run this shit, man. First off, before we get it going, oh man, I'm pretty tired of this shit. Rest in peace to one of the goats, man. One third of the Mighty Migos, Georgia representatives. The one and only Mr. Takeoff. What's his name? Kershnick Ball. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. That um that one hit me. That one hit me, man. Yeah. My man seemed like, don't know him personally, you know, never even been in the same room with him, but just the vibe, man, just seemed like a real chill cat, man. Really about his business, not with the drama, with the bullshit, with the smoke, man. But as we see in this world we fucking lives in, none of that matters. Definitely. You can still have your life taken short at 28 years of age due to senseless situations that lead to senseless violence. We have to stop killing our black success. We have to stop killing our black failures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The enemy's laughing at us. All those people y'all mad at Kanye West and Kyrie Irving for talking about, they're laughing at us. Thanks. That's a fact. That's a fact. We're like, we knew it. They're laughing at us. Do I think violence will one day be stopped? I don't. Do I think there will be peace on this earth one day all on one accord? No, I don't. But can we try? That's a start. Let's try. What's your favorite Migos song? Let's see. Favorite Migos song? Yeah. What song? What song? Because they got hits. They got them. What's that one? The way every time you hear it. No matter how old it is, how much time passed by, you listen to that shit, feel like the first time. Which one is that? 
Uh, the one with uh, Gucci Man and um, Migos. I get the bag. Mm. I get the bag and flip it in the tummy. I put the bricks in the fiddle. Gotcha. Bobby, she walk around like she Chris Jenner. Gotcha. <laughs> what, what's the one uh, my boy had? Uh, 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 take a recipe. Uh, what, what is it? Uh, damn. He had that Casper. Yeah. He had a Casper the Ghost song. Mm-hmm. That shit was hard. I like. I, I, you, you, you get it? You think? Uh, it? Yeah, I'm trying. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, I think mine mo- a little more current. You know, they they they've been banging them out for a minute, but um, Facts. the intro to the Culture Ooh. album with DJ Khaled. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's, that song does something to me, man. Mm-hmm. Um, every time I hear it, um. Just the combination of track, the flow, Khaled on there talking that talk. Um, I think that's the one for me. And in my humble opinion, there was an Amigo song that exists where Takeoff didn't have the best verse. My personal opinion. That's a fact. Not saying that because of what happened. I've been saying that. Me too. I'm on record of saying that. Facts. I think every time he delivered, the most, <laughs> whenever they were a collective unit, it's something about the way that man spit his shit. Yeah, like he stood out. I, just, and just the, just the, just the totality on, of it. on everything I, because you got it. We were like the crap pot. He, he did the hook. Uh huh. Tell me the crap pot. Oh, uh, oh bad and bougie, bad and bougie. Name that's not bad and bougie. Rain drop, drop top. No, I was saying no, 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 no. Well, not, that's not the one I'm talking about. Then, my bad. Well, one apologize. thing about one thing about takeoff, like when they do freestyles anywhere they go, he always save Offset and Quavo because he come with number of lyrical assassin bars on the freestyle. Hey, mama, yup. He won't for situation. He just did nothing but ad libs on the on the interview. <laughs> he he had, he had the best voice of all of them. He was the one. He was the one. He really was the one. Yep. Like they all nice in their own efforts. Yeah. But it's something about him to me that just stood out. Like in the in their beginning stages, if somebody sat me down and said, "Pick a star, pick the star," that's what the labels and shit do in the group situation. Absolutely, they sit around and say, "Who's the star?" I, I'm saying take off every time. Like yeah. <laughs> he's the star to me. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. the star to me. He, he the lyricist of the crew. He, he just stood out, and it's it was a hard situation to stand out in too. Like it was oh, hard yeah. to stand out because they always coming with that shit. Yeah. Because when, when Quavo writing songs for Beyonce, different yeah, other levels. Like yeah. he writes songs for them and you're getting that shit. They overshadowed his shit. Yeah, and and it, then they take out. We got that fucking Cardi and like he, he was starting his Offset. own too. Offset. Yeah. Offset. Well, Offset. I was like, my fault. Yeah, he writing for her. Yeah, you know, Quavo, I mean, he's taking Quavo all the shit. With sweetie. He just like the nigga just just yeah, chilling. Just, yeah. You never heard no no drama. Too chill for not, this not, shit. Not even drama. It, it, it was the fact that he ain't put his, You don't know who, who his hear, old lady was or no shit like that. You didn't hear much about him at all. You didn't hear much about him at all. He kept it. I'm sure he kept it that way, which yep. which really just... It's how you move. It's how you move, man. He seemed like he moved right. Militant. See, like you like militant, man. Just move with... Move on some cool shit. Stir fry. Stir fry. Oh, yeah. The crock pot, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he went stir crazy fry. on that. Stir fry. Stir fry. Stir fry. Yeah, that's the song that. I'm talking stir about. He went that's, crazy on that bitch. That's the one that... I was like, I was like, whoa, my boy going crazy on that bitch. Man, that boy was greatness, man. Yeah. That boy was greatness. Um, I love them, I hate them. Migos are going down in history for what they did. Absolutely. How they did it. You can't deny that. I know you fuck with them, Joe. Yeah. You been fucking with them. I Tough. Been, yeah. My homeboy who, who doing fair time right now, my little boy Lil D rest, you know what I'm saying? Free him. He put me on the Migos back then, like the first Migos, Bando, Chinatown. 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 Ba- ba- Bando the one that hit for him too. Yeah, that Bando, was, that, that Bando was the one, one that hit for him. They've been the banging one. out hits for a while. And their run was a back to back run for years. And that years. dab. But good to be the dab. Hannah, dab. Mo- Hannah Montana. Yep. Like he had Versace. a hard time. He had a hard Versace was, on was the one that took him out of here. Yeah. Versace, with Drake, Versace. Versace. He, Drake had to jump on that shit. It was too hot. That shit was too hot. He had to jump on that shit, man. Rest in peace to that man. Take off, man. We definitely love you, bro. Man. Condolences to your family, your friends. Absolutely. Everybody that were in contact with you and know you. 
on a personal level because that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about from a standpoint of appreciation of greatness. That's right. Appreciation of accomplishments. Yeah. Making something of yourself, doing that at a high level, and being even in the conversation of one of the greats as far as the group. And if the group considered great, I think the hottest nigga in the group is great. <laughs> it's automatically great by default. Facts. So, rest in peace to take off, man. Hey, you know we got a hard record on too. The uh, the Lucian Wine fan with trouble. Him and trouble going back and forth. He they always he, he never him and trouble went crazy on that bitch. Yeah, Rich Beat, both of them good yeah. guys. Yeah, Rich Beat, trouble too. Yeah, we gonna, we gonna move on. Yeah, we not we not here to. Yeah, I already know. Talk about all that other shit motherfuckers like to talk about. Because y'all know what the fuck going on, boy. I'm different than y'all. Respect yeah. that. Yeah, ruining that. Uh, all right, Shakes. Oh. Snake eyes. Look snake at me. Eye. Oh, look at me. Snakes are here. Tennessee got snake eyes. <laughs> so you want to talk about college football. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, you know the fuck going on, John. But at the end of the day, Trevor. <laughs> mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What you said earlier then when I first seen you. Yep. That was a disrespectful move by... The people who voted Tennessee to be oh, number the one. committee. The committee. That was disrespectful. Why would you even disrespect us like that? And then we go out there and disrespect them people like no other. It could have been it could have been in Tennessee. It could have been Knoxville. We're gonna do the same thing. What we did in between the hedges, but the hedges gave a little boost though. Uh, we, you know it did. We had a hundred thousand people in there. We, we hold ninety six. We had a hundred thousand people it, that night. It, it was a hundred thousand. Yeah, it was fire hazard. It was what did uh, <laughs> what did it, what is she called? The fire. Fire monster <laughs> worth it that night. Yeah, I'm going to tell you like this, you know. I'm not necessarily a Bulldogs fan. Y'all know this. Yeah, I fuck with Bulldogs. Y'all fuck with Bulldogs, you know. I live in Georgia. How can you not fuck with a winning organization? I'm fucking, Remember? You know, they better than my team. Who the Terps? University of Maryland, get your shit together, man. Watch <laughs> Georgia tape only. Just watch Georgia footage all offseason. Just do that. <laughs> yeah. Don't do nothing else but watch them, how they move. Go back. You can go back a few years. Just watch how they move. It might rub off or something. But mm-hmm. oh, from shit. a college book, football perspective, I knew Tennessee didn't have a chance. Yeah. Thank you, man. Because I'm seeing what Georgia is doing. People. They've won every kind of way. They've won big. They've won tight, won close. And they've been doing that a little more consistently than Tennessee. Because Tennessee is always in the talks of they're almost back. Yeah. They're almost here for the past yeah. few years. Since yeah. Kirby's been in Georgia, we've been pretty much waiting for Tennessee to be a powerhouse. Because I feel Tennessee is supposed to be a powerhouse program. Yep. They, they're, Absolutely. Supposed to, they're supposed to constantly, every season, be in the and Florida. Fucking top team. They, and they, Florida. They're looking for the four, four former years, though. Yeah, and, and Florida. Think about Florida. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, we're about Tennessee. Hold on, we're talking about Tennessee. But Phil former. But they look for them years. Yeah. The, where consistently they were, before the playoff formula and all that, yeah, they, they were a top good. team who were always in the mix. Yeah, yeah all the time. They had talent. They were in the mix. And it's been a few years. That's been a while ago now. Yeah, yeah. But, 10, but because their years. program is so big, People want them to be good. Yep. Like y'all want y'all y'all like playing them because they good. Yep. Y'all don't yep. want to pay them because they trash. Exactly. <laughs> like you a SEC program. It's gonna come a day real soon where there's gonna be no losing records from SEC teams. It's coming soon because that's the kind of caliber of football that they play. I feel mm, yeah. it's coming soon. But until then, man, Georgia got y'all a number. Every last one of y'all out here, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm calling it. I'm seeing a repeat situation yep. going on. Oh, First shit. history. Who, who, who going to take it from them? Mm-hmm. Alabama, you're done. Done. Uh, yeah. This is currently November 6th. On November 5th, <laughs> they took an L in overtime to LSU. Mm-hmm. Talk about it, doctor. Yeah. That was, a, that was the SEC affair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's two losses this season for Alabama. So I know y'all get by a lot off your name and what y'all done. But, ain't but not be, this year. Look, the near the near it was, it was all about the Georgia and Tennessee game. Yep. LSU ain't had shit for Alabama. That, that was, you know what I mean? Alabama's gonna roll them. Alabama's gonna roll them. And them folks came out and played, bro. They played. Head up. Hey, LSU beat two top ten teams in, in two weeks. Yep. They beat one last week and they beat one this week. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just like Tennessee, they're another one of those programs. We expect greatness from them. 
You know, that Joe Burrow shit was the greatest we've ever seen. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. So those expectations are extremely high after that. That, that was like one year, though. It was, but, it was but, like... But, it that, was, but look at the year. It was a hell of a fucking... It was, was a historic hell of a year, year man. Yeah. historic year, It's bro. the year of history. Yeah. Bro. And then the next year, they weren't good. Yeah. So, Quarterback play. But even before the Joe Burrow era... LSU with like teetering. was a it's a big program it's, it's a big program yeah like you want them to be good because you every time you play them you know you want it to mean something yeah yes. yes. but you know they had a few down years but even this year they're still not one of the better teams in college football but, shit. but they just took down two of them yeah, yeah. and they, and they had it at the right I, time I can't yeah. tell absolutely they shit, did I, I think they should be in the, in the top four by nah, Sunday can't how many TCU. losses do they have two two can't can't do it. Can't do it. How many undefeated teams are left? About what? Georgia. Georgia. TCU. Georgia. Oh, yeah. Georgia. TCU. TCU. Teams that actually have a chance. Michigan, in Ohio that. State, and yeah. TCU. Yeah. Ohio State, Michigan, and Georgia. That's a three for real. TCU, the other one. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But who, who, who? You, you're not going to say TCU better than... Well, you can't say it is shit. Well, you never know. Any given yeah, Saturday, yeah. you can lose, boy. Yeah, yeah. You can get your You can lose. You can lose. You can lose. You can get your ass whooped. See, I, you got to go in that spot uh, above TCU, right? Nope. They beat two top ten teams. TCU been playing outstanding they ball. They beat two top ten teams in that's, the SEC. That's cool, though. But guess what, though? TCU, two of them in the SEC. TCU, they beat, TCU beating the shit out of everybody they play. Yeah. They beating the shit out of everybody. All right, back to them Bulldogs. Let's talk about the game. Let's all right. talk about the game. All right, Let's all right, talk man. about the game. All right. Um, Stetson Bennett had his best game of the season. I feel. Better Oregon game? Just the way it looked. Been in Oregon? What crazy I, Oregon? I, I, Tennessee? I, I, I. The, playing like this against Tennessee, I think it meant a little more. Because they beat playing against Oregon that first game yeah. than this game when the season coming to an end. Yeah, and, yeah I was the only two undefeated teams in, in the, the SEC. SEC. Yep. And Stetson, mistake free football. I like that. Had yeah. the numbers and the touchdowns. I like that, yeah. He ran it, used the legs. And he they ran one. Complete game. Yeah. He, yeah. he was a big part of winning that game. He definitely was. And no, the defense, and no number dogs. 22. Number twenty two on defense, new sacks, man. Cause we ain't had no, we ain't well getting no sacks this year for real. Oh no, we yeah. had like five of them, right? Six. Oh, we had six. I, I told you, we got our stats up last night, bro. We got our stats up last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah might man. be leading the SEC in, in sacks <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, my, we might so, be, bro. Cause you think about all the game we played, I mean, stats we get like one a game. One a game. That's not, that's not enough. Maybe one a game. For we at least get like at least three or four last year. Oh no, nice. that's a, that's a, see, that, that's out. That's see. Let's not do that. We can't compare. I'm not comparing. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Last year we were just getting more sacks. Last I, year. I, th- I think the whole narrative on Georgia they compare that defense to this year defense. You definitely can't. We can't do that. Can't bro. do that. We can't do that. We are nowhere near good on defense. Cause the third and long down, we get out the field. We're not. We're not coming back. But it was some play though. Last year we played Tennessee with all our top recruits. Tennessee was moving the ball on us last year. They, they, I watched they, highlight from last year all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, no, no. They, they, they moved the ball on us way that's better not, than this that's year. That's not taking anything from Georgia. No, that's exactly. That's really saying Tennessee's a pretty good organization. They is. That's they all are. Is. Absolutely. That's all that's saying. But when it comes to them L's and W's. <laughs> yeah, hello. Talk to me. So all that matter. And you know the defense this year going through a little, a few injuries and everything. And, you we know. Have, we have finding Y'all lost y'all best pass rusher. Nolan. Y'all lost him. Now he done. Nah, I bet bad versus 88. Statistically, Statistically Nolan, Nolan got the sacks. Yeah. He got the sacks. He got the sacks, man. And he won the small nigga on defense too. Yeah, he came back. He can't. Do you, you do you think he, he fucked up by coming back another year? Nope. He, he's still gonna get shipped. And too many people it was in front of him that was like they was overshadowing him. Like right now, he's the man. He's the Raycon Smith. He's the Ray, he's the Raycon. The Raycon. Yeah, he he the goddamn uh, uh what the but uh no Kobe Dean on that defense because he for sure tackle. He, he, gonna, he out for the season at this point, though. It's all good. It work out. They know what you about. They know what he about, though. And he'll get his money. He'll get his money. First round. First round. It's going to be late first round. First round. It, he has round. to be ready for the combine. Yeah, that's if what I'm saying. If he's ready for the combine, he has a better chance. I'm, I don't know about first round. Second, second round. Uh, that might. It, 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 it could. It Fuck nobody coming out for real. It Fuck it. Falcon, you take him. Anybody coming out for real? I like the fact. Think about who just outstanding that we heard about for real. Besides Will, Will, there's some players out there, man. Nah, they, they out there. Well, who we talk? Who they? Who who they? I would talk about on TV. Will and Carter. 
That, that's the best two defensive players in the country. Yeah, they, they definitely talk about Carter more than Nolan Smith on the Georgia side. That's absolutely. He might go number one. They talk about him a little more. He's more the face of that defense. Absolutely. Yeah. Like so, he'll he'll definitely go. I feel Top before five. Nolan with even without the uh, injury and shit, because he that boy pretty much a Trayvon Walker clone. Can you put him? At, can you put him on the end for real? Uh, Jalen Carter, you can. I think so too. He's fast enough. I think he, you put him on the end. A he can do bit. anything. He built just like Trayvon Walker. Yeah. He a clone, damn near. But everybody know Jalen Carter was like one of the best last year on that team. And he probably not even playing at 100%. Oh, no, 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 no. He's he doing not. it because the team, he might be just, you know, playing because the team needs him right now. Yep, they definitely need him. That's exactly what it is. For experience and communication out there. Communication. For communication, communication. He know what to yeah, do. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he still played real decent. I'm still, like, like, I'm still playing like, out there. Like, like, like the play he made yesterday, bro. You saw uh, you, you saw that you missed him when he didn't yeah, play. You yeah, see that bro. you're going to miss him when he don't play. Hey, my boy playing out here mine, though. The freshman, man. Malachi starts. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Corner. No, nah, safety. Safety. He's yeah. probably mine, bro. Yeah. He nah. mind me He mind me of uh, Dominique Sanders when Dominique Sanders was a freshman. Coming in balling. Then he got older. Like, he got relaxed the days. Hey, no, no. To be, to be honest with you, starts, they tried to go at him yesterday and shit. He held that shit down, bro. He did, that, that, he, he did not get fucked up. He did, It wasn't. It was one play. And that was it. That's cool. But it, it was like he Normally, Tennessee was hitting us with deep ass ball, like deep, everybody with deep balls, miscommunication type you know, shit. You know what we was on? Man, up in your shit. We got we don't we don't think y'all like that because we know we got the best corners. We got, we got the best corners in the league, bro. Anybody corners better than us, bro? We showing you. We pressing coverage, and we had the, we had the, the mental discipline to the goddamn all, all that double stack shit. They all that offense they thought they had, bro. We shut that shit down, but that folks scoring 49 points a game. How many we held to? 16. One touchdown and one what, two field touch- goals? Yeah, yeah, one touchdown and two field goals. Yeah. That's a, and that's that a, touchdown didn't mean a fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, it was late. It was, was too late at that point. Was <laughs> I seen third strings in there. I seen a nigga number 96 in there. Well, I know I don't even know who they did, but he got yeah. in and did it. I, 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 I bet my man know who, who, who the white guy, who the white the white defense in. Who uh, was stepping in for uh, Nolan? Uh, uh, number 32, is it? He from Douglasville too. He from Douglasville. He got some burn. He definitely got yeah, some he got, burn. He got burn yesterday. He probably was a special he teamer. He probably was a good special teamer that got a shot. And then I like on on some of them game, on some of them plays. I don't feel like they put my boy Bronson and Robinson in the right position to do to do good in that Tennessee game. Cause I feel like that was his game to shine because mm-hmm. Tennessee is rough. On that defense, I don't care uh, nobody uh, saying. But, but, but I feel like he's tough. Hold on, but you you're not gonna get you're not gonna get a freshman the ball at that time. We got Nick Chubb the ball. Yeah, right. Nick Chubb was already he already had the ball the whole year. It wasn't that, like you you just gave it to him. They had the ball the whole year. Everybody was getting the ball. It was the same thing. It was the same type of atmosphere though. We, everybody was getting the ball. We we ran with three running backs that year when Nick Chubb was a freshman. I don't think he I don't think he Chubb level though. He nah, good, yeah, but he ain't Chubb yet. We talking about <laughs> the Chubb. <laughs> wow. He the best in the NFL right now, so yeah, that's yeah. a whole different breed. Like my man got to get, he got to be a starter first for, yeah, but, but get what for, the, for the college. But get what though, Chubb start his freshman year. He ain't start. He behind everybody. But guess what though? Can, can I can I say this one thing? When they really gave him the ball hey, look, though, it, it, get, it was long. But get what though? Can I say this one thing? When I tell y'all about a running back from Georgia, do I ever lead y'all wrong? Do I? Do I ever leave y'all wrong? Anytime I say something about running back, like, I said next year. No, not necessarily. That boy Cook's going to be the man. Look at they all got good. They always got good running backs. Yeah, yeah. But so, so they always got good running backs. But I'm just talking about that year. I was telling you about Jane Cook III. I said, he's going to be the man this year. He's going to be the one that got down put us over the edge. And what he do? Put us over the edge. It was it was a couple plays last year. Like, if we want for Jane Cook, bro, we'll be in sheet tri- We'll be in a lot of trouble, bro. Come on, bro. Let me for real. Cook was fine. Let's, let's, let's keep him. He couldn't. Hey, he, he finally got together, though. Yeah. They, yeah. they, 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 they didn't yeah. hold that shit against him. Nah, that, yeah, yeah. He, that he fumble. Got, yeah. The first fumble. I remember that game. Yeah. I've seen the game. But they've they been giving the ball lately, though. They trust him a little more. I think they really need what he brings because Buffalo. Um, they lost today. Yeah, they might have. I, I, I hate to see him peek out early. I don't think they did. Oh, let's roll that. Hold on. But, uh, yeah, shouts to, shouts to the Georgia Bulldogs. Shouts to LSU, man. Yeah. Played two in very important games. And, you know, even though Georgia got the win, that LSU-Alabama might be game of the year at this point. 
on the low. That might be the game of the year on at this low. point. Right, so and Jeff Valley? Might, 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 might be the game of the year at this so point. We can move on. I just want to say that. No, no, no. I ain't mad at that. That it, might be just the game. You know, the overall game? It, 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 we got to talk about it. Yeah. We got I mean, to talk about it. And George Tech won, too. Them Tech ain't shit. Dude, they beat Virginia Tech? Yeah. Fuck out of here. Look, they ain't beat Virginia Tech in a long time now. Look, 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 though. But them going for it on two. Mm. I don't want to go to a, a double overtime. Mm. Nope. Mm. Overtime. They, they held it. They held it nuts on. I shit, fuck it, man. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna keep going. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go back and forth with you. Not going back and forth with you. I know so let me go ahead and try to win now and then shit, get the game over with. And if won. I lose, if I lose, I'm not bad because I stood in the game with Alabama my first year here. Yeah, with, with the players. Ke- Ke- These Ke- not my players. Kelly made the right move. Next year, Kelly gonna be having his players. Brian Kelly held his nuts on Nick Saban. Whole Ooh. lot. Yeah, that's a fact. That's what he was thinking. Hold, Hold on. Back. All right, so I had another. Oh, I, got, I got another. Going? I got another question. Okay, talk, I got talk, another question. Talk to me, doctor. Is Nick over with? Cause last year he told me that was his rebuilding year, mm-hmm. and they lost. Mm. Now he ain't lost two games this year. And when have when he said a rebuilding? When has he ever said any shit like that? He said last year he was like I'm was, saying like before that like it was nothing. It was you nothing. don't hear that kind of talk coming from Nick rebuilding yeah. at Alabama like that was, ain't no such thing. I thought we reload. Yeah, y'all don't rebuild. <laughs> yeah, reload. I thought we reload. Y'all the number one recruiting <laughs> class every single season. Every single season. Till Kirby got to Georgia. Yep. To Kirby said, we got the man, mama. Stop taking that phone away a little bit. <laughs> to Kirby got the Georgia, that, now that narrative changing a little bit, I guess. I don't know. But Kirby, like, y'all. <laughs> he, said, he said it was a rebuild last year. He said, this is words. You don't hear that from Nick. He, don't. he said, last year, he like, this is a rebuild year after, after they lost and all that shit. But this year, you came back and sound, lost too. Sound like an excuse. A definite excuse. So what? The, if that was a rebuild year, what the? What <laughs> is this year? Yeah. Blow it up, fire me, <laughs> I quit. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm almost gone. New GM. But he's Mr. Confidence now. Nick is Mr. Confidence. Oh, no, no. He, you can't just be confident when you win it. Absolutely. You can't just be confident when you win it. You also have to have that same confidence. And Nick got a little arrogance about him. What do you call humility? You, you <laughs> got he got a little arrogance about him. Oh yeah, he but did. you but you gotta have that same energy in the losses too. Yep. You hear me? Yep. Like fuck it, we lost. Oh well, still to go. How many count my ring fingers? Nigga. Yeah. That's how you gotta pop your count shit. My ring fingers, how you gotta pop nigga. your shit though, like, for real. That's what we want from Nick. That's who Nick is to us. That's who we always been. Because if, 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 if I if I were Nick, I'm like man, tell Georgia to catch up. Facts. <laughs> What's wrong with them? What y'all, y'all mean? Just, y'all just getting to this winter circle, my nigga. Okay, y'all want to check I got a, I, I, I got a spot here. Yeah, yeah. I own this motherfucker, basically. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to my world. Fuck you talking about? Yeah, you say I fear to be a winner yeah, now, boy? Hey, welcome uh-huh. to the party. You want to see a championship welcome ring, to boy? Welcome the party, pal. <laughs> yep, exactly what you're saying. So, so what the hell are they going to do now? Still, no, nothing. It's still, it's still going to be uh, Alabama. They still going. Everybody come back next year. But. No, hell not that. They is not coming back. Bryce not coming back. We're not coming I don't, back. I don't. We got to see. We got to give him a few years. We got to give him a few years. Um, I feel like that shit over with. Who going to coach for them? Yeah, yeah. Because he he, he they were just in the championship last year. But he's, he on his way out, though. That's what it feels like to me. Because we know that time's going to come. Nigga like 70, nigga. So? You don't care? Patino, what, what about uh, from... Ben State, how long were you uh, high school? 80 something? Yeah, he was 80. Yeah, he coached for fucking Lou Ho- How old Lou Holt was? That, that, that different. It ain't different. Yes, it is. He way better than that yeah. coach we were just talking about, that 80-year-old coach. Come on now. The ring, want to see, see your championship ring, boy? He ain't got no smut on his name, I guess. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah, exactly. He ain't got no smut on his name. <laughs> yeah, that, we, that we know about. <laughs> that we know about. That we know about. Yeah. You hear me? Matilda got that smut. Find out. Alabama, uh. Alabama, like, y'all had y'all run. Y'all had y'all run. Runs don't go on forever. It man. doesn't. Dynasties don't last forever. And they have the one of the longer dynasties in sports history. Yeah, yeah. A- when a- it comes a- to winning. It's like Alabama and Brady and the Yankees, man. Yeah. I mean, stop playing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On real shit. If you want to get down. Mike with the Bulls up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He put the Bulls uh, up there. Lakers five, up four. there. What, yeah. five? Shit. The Spurs up there. Oh, shit. Kobe yeah. got how many? Four? Five? five. Kobe got five. Oh, and yeah. Damn, 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 damn. Sam Duncan damn. got five. Duncan got five. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. It's, so it's, we've seen a few dynasties, but they don't last. Don't last. Look at all the all the teams we've named. Five. Now. Golden State five at least. Golden yeah. State got a five year run. You got a five year run in your, in, in your game. A, a dynasty is pretty much winning what three out of the five years. Yeah. You can win three out of five years. And you a you, fucking dynasty. You fuck around, get four or five and six. You a <laughs> what's the what's after dynasty? We got to need another word. Uh, diamond. Mm-hmm. It's enough, we need another word after that. <laughs> Uh, dynasty, right dynasty, six, man, you crazy. Now it be dynasty, dynasty. You're, his, you're historic. <laughs> you're a historic. Instead of a dynasty team, I guess you're a historic team. <laughs> like, but Golden State too. LSU. Oh yeah, yeah they they, they nah, that, yeah they definitely on the way to another one. <laughs> Again, man. I ain't gonna say hello. Road dice what everyone we want to talk about. It. But shouts to LSU, man. Y'all took care of business. Y'all shook up the world. So happy. Alabama fans are upset, happy. but hey. Can't win them all. Y'all get off that shit. Hey, but, you, but you got to see us in a minute. Three. three. That's out on three mm. to four shoot. I'm going to shoot a die. Let me shoot the motherfucker die. Roll them then, nigga. Let me shoot the motherfucker die. I'm going to watch the motherfucker die. Mm-hmm. I get that money. Fever. Boom. What's on your mind? Well, little baby got the hardest album out here. Y'all oh, didn't got me shit. fucked up. Stop playing. Y'all. Oh. That way. California breed. Take out the eat. You know what I'm saying? Take out a little party. Hey, hey, baby's album is getting a lot of criticism. Um from media. But why though? It's just sound and Cause it's redundant. Man, it's just sound good. At this point, I don't um I wanted him to have his best project. Right now, but and I don't think this is his best project. He wrote this. It's album. quality. It's quality. It's definitely quality because little baby nice. But um, I think the level he's at now, because we've seen this so many times. Like when an artist gets to a certain level, you know, financially, success, popularity, and everything, you always looking back at the projects and not really feeling the same way about them. You know, and you don't know what the pinpoint, what's the pinpoint. It like, I'm to the point where if baby like that, I'm fucking. I don't care what nobody say. He like it. If is he it, like it, that's his art. That's, that, him. that's his art. That's, that's his him. Art. Absolutely, absolutely, that's him. But um, I want, I be wanting people once they reach you no, know, you no, know, hit that pinnacle, like baby on top, and I want the music to be on top. Mm-hmm. I want the albums to be on top. I want everything he do to on be top. better than what he did last time. Mm. That's what that be, you know, a fan's perspective. You know, that's yeah. why fans be hard on them. But an artist has to appreciate that when a fan, you know, criticize them. Yeah, because that means, because for one, it means they're listening. For yep. two, it means they care. Yep, they care. Like a lot of motherfuckers talking shit, they don't care. They just want to hate and yeah. fucking mm-hmm. want to see you fall. But a real supporter, yeah, you no, know, they're gonna give you their real opinion because they want, hey. they want better every time. They don't want. So you got on the music shit. I ain't mean to cut y'all, brother. Right. But. We got on this music shit. How how long do like do you really keep a, keep a body of work in your rotation for real before you leave it alone? Mm. How, like the baby, the baby shit. Little baby, little baby, little baby. Mm-hmm. My fault. How long? How long has you have you been playing it? I've listened to it three times. The album, front to back, three times. Yeah, I listen to it every day. I listen every day. And um, cause I just go by how I feel sometimes. Like you know, I just be like, I'm listening to that baby again. Just yeah. throw it on, or mm-hmm. I'm listening to this to that. But um, I'm gonna give something a real life chance. You know what I mean? Like I'm yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. You can't listen to one. I don't think you can listen to an album one time. And have a strong opinion on oh, how no, you feel about no, it. No, 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 no. You got, you got, you got to let. You got to, you got to marinate with it. You got to, you got to, mm-hmm. you have to let it enter your 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 soul type yep. shit before but, you can really but it's so, it's so criticize much, it. It's so much music that comes out. But we don't listen to everything come out. Yep. Yeah, we do. Uh, I don't. Yeah, we do. I listen to what I'm interested in. Yep. Uh, yep. Okay. Yep. No, I y- do. You, you, you interested? Nigga, it, it was a hundred artists. Hours. Certain artists who I'm curious to hear from. Yeah, I don't be wanting to hear about shit. I I, li- I listen to it, but they, I, I might not be really anticipating how it's gonna make me feel. But I'm gonna yeah. listen to it to see what niggas doing. Mm-hmm. But like you said, it's so much music you can't listen to anything. Like it's hard. It's hard. Can they coming out every day? Every day, it's a hundred new albums. A mm-hmm. <laughs> hundred. A hundred. Everybody dropping. 
And uh, speaking of music, man, something something happened um, that caught me completely off guard. And just let me go. Um, I was on Netflix. There's a program on Netflix, an animated program on Netflix called Intergalactic. Mm. Okay, it was always, you know, it was it stayed in the in the promo section and all everything. I would, every time I would go to YouTube, I would see it. Put it in my list. I'm, I'm gonna check this out because it had a black animated black person, person on the cover. So I'm gonna watch it. It's a yeah. black mother. I'm watching it. All right. And watched it. Incredible. Mm-hmm. As I'm watching it, I'm listening to the voices and shit in the anime. The animation is crazy. It's mm-hmm. like some new shit. It's mm-hmm. Looks damn near real, like almost anime, like not quite anime, but like a little computer generated. But the, it's crazy, like PJs listening to a little more animated, okay, kind of like that, but a little more yeah, okay. cartoonish. Okay. But that same concept, but the way that it looks crazy. And I'm hearing voices, and I'm looking at the main character, I'm like that fucking kid Cuddy. No, that's fucking kid Cuddy. While I'm watching it, yeah, it's a you. love story, it's got dope, you. it's a dope program. It's dope. So, watch the whole thing. Another character in there. Looking at him, listening to the voice. That's Ty Dolla Sign. Wow. Listening to another character. White, what little white looking character and shit. Listen to the voice, looking at like, nigga, that's 070 shape. Mm. Like, um, they hit me as I'm watching it. So I did my research after I watched it. Kid Cudi's last album, and before, even before I, I finished watching it, I'm thinking like, the motherfucking soundtrack and shit, the music in this motherfucker is it sound amazing. Good. Is it going to be crazy? Uh, the music is the produ- amazing. The production. The feeling it gives you, dog. The music is amazing. And the music, you definitely know that's Kid Cudi. Yeah. Like, the music definitely Kid Cudi. Come to find out, his last album was called Intergalactic. All the songs in the fucking mo- movie is from his album. Wow. Intergalactic by Kid Cudi. It's so fucking incredible. I want you to check it out. Listen to what I'm saying. I don't care if you got to watch the movie first like I did and listen to it or listen then watch the movie. I don't care how you do it. But this is how I just stumbled upon this shit because I ain't even no Kid Cudi had an album out. I, I remember the last shit he did was with, uh, he had, what, Kanye, man, uh, Kids He Ghost and yeah, before yeah, that, yeah, what, Man shit, on the Moon. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, the shit I ain't like, even yeah, know yeah. he had a new album out. The sound is, it's uh, such a, 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 a feel good sound. It feels so right. Like it fit and it fit the movie so perfect. That I was listening every song that they play in them fucking show in the movie. I'm like, this shit is fucking dope. This song is dope. And come to find out, these are songs from this nigga album. He dropped the album and put a movie out with mm-hmm. it. Why the fuck ain't nobody talking about this shit? I didn't even know it. Why the fuck did not know about this shit? Yeah, yeah. I was upset. He got blackballed. Yeah, I ain't gonna say that. Mm-hmm. They ain't blackballed with no movie on Netflix. <laughs> He's right. not blackballed right. at all. Right. Excellent, right. excellent movie. Nice little love story. You know some real shit. It's real. It's real. It's some real life shit. But the music with the movie, uh, Kid Cudi just did some classic shit. Mm. And I want people to check it out because uh, that's one I'll definitely watch again. And that and that album, I've been sitting with that shit. That, that music, it has a feeling about it that. I don't know if I felt that shit before. Did you get that American oh. Gangster feeling? The, 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 it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, Cuddy pretty much on his, he ain't really rapping. Yeah. He on yeah. his, his vocal shit, mm. but the, but the beats is, is kind of, it's like, it's got like a futuristic type. Melodic. Melodic, but yeah. it hit hard. Mm. And, and it, it's like, it's telling the story through the music and, it's incredible. I think it's incredible. I, people check it out. In the Galactic Kid Cuddy. Check out the album and the movie. It's on Netflix. And I get stumbled upon this, and I'm glad I did. Because um, it made me feel a kind of way. Like, the music makes you feel a kind of way. Because it's like, I don't know if I heard nothing like this, like this. Because Cuddy nice on the music. No, 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 no. Cuddy no. nice. No, no, no. He, he, he do nice. his thing. He's nice. But um, he definitely changed his sound up. Not, I ain't gonna say change his sound up because he been on that. He really been on that. But the but the production and everything, it's called intergalactic, and I think that's for a reason. Because you know, way it makes you feel is really 
like out of this world space space spacey mm. but it's yeah. but it don't feel like no force shit. It, it feels good man check it out man mm. intergalactic kid cuddy man that's what's good like that do you like what's the name joe mm. music tip who that 21 and uh, Drake. I think the production on that is excellent. Um, I think the production pretty carry, pretty much carries the album. Because Drake doing what he do, 21 doing what he do. You know, that's... Mm-hmm. But that production on there, I feel, is A1. A1 production. I've sat with that. I listened to that twice already also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Okay. I, ain't, I ain't listened to it yet. I gotta listen to it. Check it out. It's it's it's, it's good project. I listen to Jeezy. Jeezy, they got that 05. Oh, 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 that's no fault. That shit <laughs> crazy. That shit gonna cry. Jeezy really just like... <laughs> My shit in my bag. Man, like, he went crazy on that one. You really just like, all right, nigga, we need more. You back, nigga, stay here, nigga. Yeah, like, yeah. ain't no more that laying off, taking a while. Like, he nigga, went like, crazy. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Streets yeah. still need Jesus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the production was crazy on that too. Yeah, I like the production on that. I like leaving the middle. Like, I ain't like, I want his, him and Shot of Red again. I like, I like that feeling. That shit was crazy. Shot of Red feeling. Him and Shot of Red feeling. Oh he man, probably had one or two of them on there for real. Yeah, probably it, so. Cause it, it it felt good. Back, it seemed like he went back to something, back yeah. to an mm-hmm. essence, back to a time for it. The shit that having drama do it, you know, the Gangsta Grill style. Yeah. That that's an era. Like they said, that's what the top selling Gangsta Grill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That first one they did, yeah. mm-hmm. they did the biggest Gangsta Grill, bigger than Wayne and all that shit. Like yeah. that's yeah. huge. Like yeah. why Wayne kept coming out with that shit. That's huge. So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, try to catch up. Yeah, I try. I think Wayne trying to catch up. That's why he dropped so many on. Cause Jesus ain't had that many gangster groups. No, no, hell no. He didn't have one. Yeah, yeah. No, he had two. He had two. 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 He two had two. Uh, two. But Wayne had, Wayne had about ten on. <laughs> yeah, all them dedications was gangster groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single one of them. Yeah. I'm gonna say who's a nice DJ too. That boy DJ Burn one with night too back in the day. Burn one. Yeah, Burn one with night. Yeah, he did drill first uh, shit. Burn one was great for real. That shit was hard as hell. But yeah, that nigga, that nigga yeah, good. So it's some music out here, man. Um, I'm gonna tell you, I've been on real tough, man. Um, she's incredible, and she looks good. Oh shit, fucking Tim's, man. She had it. Tim's is fucking going she, she, crazy she out her, here, she man. She has her look. That's she's she is she is just oh man, I got caught one night. I got caught up one night. I was looking at her video because I've been I've been listening to her music. But listen, looking at her videos and stuff, I'm like, this, this beauty is a little different. Like a black, black queen ass Nigerian yeah. ass black woman. Yeah. She had the shit. And oh. she got, and she junkie. Then why is she dumping like crazy? Ain't <laughs> so like, hey, no that wagon. <laughs> she no. got that wagon. <laughs> Definitely dragging a wagon, boy. She got that yeah, boom, 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 wagon. Man, she, you know she right. You know she, she her pen game crazy. I've been I've been on Tim's real heavy, man. Um. Cause it's crazy, cause on that uh, on that um the song that really put her introduced her to the world, the Wiz Kid song. Uh, you know you ain't no other body. Yeah, yeah. yeah no way that girl. Nobody. Like, like oh, mother, no mother, mother, body. like she 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 killed that. She smashed that. And a lot of her music, you know, it feels that way. She she got the, you know Afrobeat sound, but she mm-hmm. really like a top notch artist at this point. Like I think she gonna really really blow and make some noise. Yeah, yeah. Like, most people really just give her what she's due. Mm-hmm. I do diligent. Yeah, man, cause that's a black queen there, boy. Yeah, you like, you like that one, don't you? Ten, I beloved. Ten, that's ten. a beloved. That's a beloved. That's a beloved. <laughs> yeah, she righteous. She definitely righteous. My boy said, she right. She right. Uh, that's that Birmingham word. That righteous. She righteous, man. <laughs> she been busy, man. The music, uh, her projects aren't long. You know, she had to give you like five, six, six, six yeah. songs type shit. So that yeah. so you can really sit with it. And you're going to listen to it more than once because her pen game crazy. I, I heard Drake wasn't talking about Megan Thee Stallion on this song. He talking about it. I don't, I don't even know what the fuck. I don't even remember the part that they talking about. I'm like, nigga what, be what, fucking what, rich. What, what, I no, remember. I know. When they first come on, I'm like, he's like, you want to get a shot. Now you think you a, you a stallion. No, but he was talking about he, he talking about some ass shot though. I don't even like I don't give like who gives a fuck like Drake. Hey, hey Drake, Drake raps crazy though. Like he's a, he's a dope ass. He get that triple on time. Word play mm-hmm. motherfucker man. Yeah. He's a he he can rap. Cause if you if you hear the song, you think he's talking about Megan Stallion, but he not. That shit so crazy. And yeah. I feel like he probably talking is. About all bitches. Yeah, all bitches. Yup. Fuck who we talking about. Yep. Talking about all bitches. He's talking about all bitches. Love drama and fucking. He said, she said and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, who gives a fuck? 
like uh, well, 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 well. They give a fuck, I know. I'm talking about me. I don't give a fuck. Yes, they do. can give a fuck all they want. You know why you do? Why? Because we're on a public platform. Mm-hmm. What they got to do with me giving a fuck about something? I don't give a fuck about half the shit we talk about. But we, uh, <laughs> but, but we got to talk about it. I'm just here to do this shit. We ain't got to talk about shit. No, well, we got to talk, talk about ourselves. talk about shit. That's between them. I'm just fuck about that stupid shit. Because that's stupid shit. All that shit going to spark up more drama. And, 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 and that's what we don't need. And we don't even know what stems from. Don't know what it's about. We, we don't, don't know shit. But as a as a culture, we don't need we don't need the drama anyway. Exactly. Mm-hmm. No more of it because you can't avoid it. But it's like motherfuckers really into that shit. Oh, yeah. you talking? Why you talking about? It? Man, I don't know. I don't know that nigga. Don't care. <laughs> like real shit, my nigga. I promise you, I don't be caring. But I don't give a fuck. How mm-hmm. many motherfuckers probably didn't listen to the album because they heard he t- said something mm-hmm. about Megan? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Missed out on a good project because they heard <laughs> he said something about her and they like her, so they ain't even listen to the shit. So without verifying, so we we, we gotta like we followers. It's a world full of followers. Yeah. Man. Definitely more followers than leaders. Mm. Mm. That's a nice shaking moment. Hello, <laughs> and people like that kind of shit. <laughs> people like that. They love that kind of shit. Oh, he talking about so and so. Nigga, he ain't talking about you. He ain't talking about you. You don't even know them people. <laughs> so you know what that me? means? You're not important. Hello. You talking about her because she's important. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. They, they, they running the same crowd. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. There's something, something we don't even know about. Niggas be trying to force it like they was there. <laughs> Hey man, mm-hmm. Megan got her lane. Drake got his lane. Everybody can coexist. Tori got his lane. Everybody got his lane. Everybody got good lane. lane mm-hmm. Nigga, like everybody doing their thing, my everybody lord. Everybody getting money. Everybody get some money. Everybody getting the everybody money. Get more. Yeah, they I, get more than me, so I ain't <laughs> focused on them. I'm telling, you, I'm focused on this shit. Right like, I'm trying to get on that level. Hello, mm-hmm. I need me a made back. I need my boy. My boy made back with a hundred million dollars in the bank account. Hello, you got throw it out there. But until years. then, yeah, y'all keep that drum up and all that shit. Be y'all. Uh, be y'all, man. Do what you do, man. So we had content talking about y'all, man. You can't be us, nigga. <laughs> can't be us. Can't we are, be us. We are the motherfucking dice shakers, nigga. Yeah, man. Roll them up. Roll them dice, man. Let's get into this NFL. Mm, another five. Oh, five. five. Who got five wins? Did, did, who got five, five wins in the NFL? Who got five wins in the NFL, uh, bro? Shit, y'all down. Uh, I know the Falcons don't got one. We four and five. Oh, uh, uh, Charles got five wins, you think? Charles got five wins on the... Uh-huh. We got five... We can't get five wins. Uh, J- the Jets had five wins. The Jets got, that. yeah. Not down. Who I got five wins? Uh, 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 uh. We going to run into it. Week nine, man. Week nine. Yeah. It's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna about too five, bro. Let's yeah. just slow down. We halfway done. We are we are done. <laughs> Seven more week. So once we got down the SC championship, we're gonna lie oh, in wait. the field gonna be like down there over with, bro. Yeah. We're gonna kick it off with um Mighty Mighty Eagles flying high. <laughs> that motherfucker can't, can't be stopped. Eagles defeating the Houston Texans Thursday night, 29 to 17, putting the Eagles at 8 and 0, Texans at 1, 6 and 1. Keep your ass yeah, sleeping. Hollywood woke up there. Woke up there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take your, your ass sleeping. Eagles, man. <laughs> Chargers and Falcons. Chargers eggs out the wins, 20 to 17. Chargers are 5 and 3. Falcons are now 4 and 5. Mm. Miami Dolphins eggs the Chicago Bears. Miami Dolphins are 6 and 3. Chicago oh. Bears three and six. That score was thirty-five to thirty-two. Cincinnati Bengals doubled up on the Panthers, forty-two to twenty-one. <laughs> Panthers are five and no, excuse me. Panthers are two and seven. Bengals are five and four. Mm. That's another five win team. Yeah, I got four. Green Bay Packers lost to the Detroit Lions, <laughs> fifteen <laughs> to nine. Oh, they could have got the five, didn't they? Packers yeah. are sitting at three and six. Uh, Lions are two and six. 
That's, that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Las Vegas Raiders, Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars pulled out the victory 27 and 20 over the Raiders. Jaguars sitting at a dismal 3 and 6, and the Raiders are sitting at a trash 2 and 6. Ooh. New England Patriots. Mm. Another five win team you talking about, Yo, bro. That's five of them. Five of them. Took care of the Colts handily, twenty six to three. Patriots are five and four. Colts are three, five and one. Mm. That's right. Buffalo Bills lost to mm. the New York Jets. The Jets. Twenty to seventeen. Buffalo Bills are six and two. Yeah, New York Jets are six and three. That's crazy. Oh, that, well, Oh, boy, that's two on That's seven. That's 17 with a 500. Damn. Minnesota Vikings. Five wins, I mean. Aged out. The mighty, mighty Washington football team now known as the Commanders. 20 to 17. Vikings are seven and one. That's eight of them. Commanders are four and five. No, they're right there on the brink, though. They're with the Falcons. Yeah. Seattle Seahawks beat the Cardinals. 31-21, Cardinals, 3-6. and six. Mm, okay. Check me out. Seahawks are 6-3. and three. Uh-huh. And we beat them bitches. <laughs> that, 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 that's nine teams over 500. Mm-hmm. And all the teams well, we on the bye week. Wins, a lot least. of teams on bye week this week. Yeah. Browns, Giants, Steelers, Broncos, Cowboys, and 49ers all on bye week this and week. We, and we got the same record. I don't know why they got the same record besides the Cowboys. It's nine teams to get five wins. And more than that, you got them Browns. We beat the Browns. Cowboys probably the only team that got six wins. Our other team got four, three wins. I mean, ain't nothing. Man. We ain't win the mix, boy. Right now, the Rams. We win the mix, boy. No dirty boys. Rams. Lost to the Buccaneers 13-16. Rams are three and four. Hey, y'all lose to the Bucs. Buccaneers three and five. Hey, y'all lose to the Bucs. You know what I mean? We still got a better record than the Buccaneers. Yep. Yeah. I like that. No. Buccaneers are four and five, huh? Oh, yeah, they, they won that. Yeah, they won, they won the game. They, 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 they don't got to change that. They still yeah, got, yeah. This is in progress, but it's a final. Yeah. So, Bucks got to be four and five, and the Rams got to be three and five. Yeah. Damn them Rams. Damn them Rams. And Ram. tomorrow, the 820 game, Titans and Chiefs. Titans are five and two, and Chiefs are both five and two. See? Two more if I went to. Mm-hmm. And That's tomorrow a- night. Okay. It's prime two. time under them lights. Yes. It's 11, it's 11 teams. The almighty Baltimore oh, Ravens facing the New Orleans Aints. Saints. Them Aints. Because y'all people beat the bitch about 50. Ravens are 5 and 3. Saints are 3 and 5. Yeah. So there's 11 teams oh, oh, with 5 wins at least. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We in the mid, bro. You win the mid. Giants in there too. Yeah. The Giants. I ain't that too. We in the mid, bro. All they gotta do is just keep winning every other game, or win, win, win two games straight and lose a game, win two more games straight. Yeah. All we gotta do, we get a wild, wild, wild card. Is it a wild, wild? We get a wild, wild. We get a guaranteed wild card. I don't. I, I understand that. I want to win. I want to win. I, lo- I love how the Falcons are playing. But shit, is it gonna help us? By winning or, or uh, I think we'll get the same mid round draft pick that we always get. It's too early to think about a draft pick. Though. No man, no, you, gotta take care. you still in position to win your fucking division, yeah. man. I know we're winning. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just talking about realistically. Like you gotta. We did. We did. What if you run off a few? Like yeah. And yeah. get in the playoffs, nigga. You gonna be like, you think about that draft pick? Like it's a nine game left. It, 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 it's a mid round. The nine so, game so, left. So. Focus on this winning game now. Man, y'all about to have $170 million or some shit next year, my nigga. And we got nine games left. And we just win ain't no six. Pre- ain't no pressure. Ain't, ain't no pressure no, to ain't be ain't thinking no about pressure. a draft pick like all the, you know, losing seasons yet. Mm-hmm. Like, niggas we're, we're, not, we're not necessarily a losing team. Yeah, you're no, not, you're not, you're not team. desperate to just. We're, we're four and five. We're yeah. four and five is the difference. But you're high in the division. Fuck the record. You got to play. You got to. Playoff, borderline playoff team at this point. Yeah. A possible playoff team. That's a fact. You know? I feel like, if, I feel like out of the last nine games, we, if we at least win six of them, 
We in the wild card, and we might get a home field advantage too. If we beat no, New we Orleans definitely. and Tampa Bay one time, yeah. we beat them one round, we good. Each, we definitely gonna take care of Carolina Thursday, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Gonna be on a big screen night prime time. Big screen right here, ain't it? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh Monday and oh, yeah, Monday and Thursday. Oh yeah, we lit. Yeah, Monday yeah. and Thursday. Monday and Thursday. Yeah, we lit. Yeah. Ain't no game with these niggas. Ain't like no game with these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you talking about? Y'all played a hard game, man. That's we one did. thing I know about the Falcons. Y'all playing very hard. Y'all are not just out there giving the game away, taking <laughs> ass whoopings. Like last year, like we could have won the game today. Yeah, could have won the game today. Mental mistakes. What was the play that changed? That? I see it could be a few. What was that one that changed that let you know it slipped away? Take one ground. Mm. Yeah, when he fumbled it. Cause like the game was a gritty game on both sides. Both on making we were both making mistakes. We were both were fucking up. But that play right there, we were supposed to capitalize. Like you said, when you're a big man, you just jump on the ball. Fall on the ball, man. You D lineman, man. Fall on he the was ball. running with it. He ain't gotta fall on it. He cool, was running man. with no, it, bro. Run to the out of bounds, man. Not a ball handler. Yeah, get get close out of bounds. Yeah, you probably run the ball, close out of bounds. When you're a big man but and the, you supposed to run close to out of bounds, run on the sideline. Can't, can't that shit do fumble because that shit would have went right out of bounds. I mean, if he didn't fumble the shit, it would be different. But he dropped that bitch. First reaction is to fall on the ball. Like, yeah. scoop and score. He was a long way from scoop, scoop and score. Yeah, he he definitely was a long way. way. It was a long way. He bro. definitely would have helped with <laughs> that field yards, position yeah. that he picked up. Yeah. Yeah. But you see what he did? And then he ain't built like He ain't built for that. Yep. He ain't no ball handler. You, it's easy to say now because the shit over. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, put the ball in your offense hands. Get the win. Yep. Think about the team, man. Don't yep. think about yourself. Get down. So you're not that fast. I'll burn you trying to be your burn. Was you trying to score, my nigga? Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> he, 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 he wasn't trying to score. He wasn't trying to score. He wasn't trying to score. <laughs> drop the ball. Why did you drop the ball? Like, My boy was going to the ball? house. Yeah, I and then drop that bitch, huh? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. The cool kid you were talking about earlier, too, though. And cool missing that 50. Yeah. We've been Great tied point. up. Now we've been up. We've been done with. We've been tied up. They kicked the field goal. It would have yeah, been 2017. They, 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 they kicked the field goal after that. So y'all at least would have tied it up. Been in better position. You wouldn't have left any points on the field. I feel know? like we left some points out yeah, there. Yeah, cool. Points on the field. And, and got to pick up the red zone offense a little better. Yeah. Like, pick, like, come on, like y'all, y'all, y'all was in the we, red zone a few times. No, no, we ain't getting red zone today. But y'all a long, a long run. We ain't getting red zone today. No, we did. No, we did. No, Cordell no, Patterson no, ran the ball yeah. that, twice. And that, the, the time we got in the red zone, we scored. We didn't get in the red zone. Oh yeah, you talking we about? We did not get in the red oh, zone. Oh yeah, after that, yeah, 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 yeah. Now after that, it was over with. Yeah, hey, yeah, we ain't getting the red when zone. When we did get in the red zone, my boy fumbled the ball. He got the ball. Oh, uh, Drake, Drake fumbled. Yeah, Drake fumbled. Who's in the red zone? That might have been the play too. Yep. I'm Khalil Matt that took that it from him. Cause that, that field goal, I ain't gonna lie, that field goal and Khalil Matt took it from that was that was that was really the point of the game. Khalil Matt took the took the ball from took, him, bro. took our money. Yeah, yeah. He robbed us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the fuck that nigga up. Cause we were definitely in field goal range at that point. We about to, we were, it was first down. Yeah, it was definitely first down. We ran about with Algier. Yeah. Uh, uh Patterson. Patterson. Yeah. Uh, and uh, score uh, a touchdown. And score a touchdown. We put we go for Patterson. Oh, it didn't work, Patterson. Alger, you go Alger. Alger didn't work. Huntley. Fuck it. Field goal. Yeah, they took the ball. He took the ball. When you're a rookie, me. when you're doing too much. He took the ball. All y'all uh, losses, y'all pretty much showed y'all could play with anybody except that Bengals game got out of hand. Yeah. But I as just, far as all those other games, they possibly could have been wins. Yeah, Bengals took advantage of this. Bengals did what they tend to do if you ain't on your shit. Yeah, you got to call the best now. Yeah, that, hurt. that passing attack will hurt you if you're not equipped for that. Yeah. And so, man, out for a few weeks. Jamal, we, we, we roughed them up. Chase, y'all did. Y'all took them off. We roughed them up. Yeah, we, yeah, we took them out. <laughs> oh, oh, we AJ, AJ, them up. AJ still, got hurt. still put up 42 today without him. Yeah. Yeah. That could Tyler Boy fire here and Higgins. And Higgins. Joe Burrow. Oh, Joe Burrow. And Nixon finally got you know, in the mix a little bit. <laughs> yeah. On Nixon all turned it up back. a little bit. He's on the all purpose back shit today. Yeah. Fuck, man. I just wish AJ would never got hurt, bro. I thought we could have competed. It would have been different. It would have been different. You talking about today? 
So like last Terrell. week too. He's an AJ. He's AJ, AJ to this week and last AJ week. AJ Terrell was on the on the field. How many five when they got off. How many games he's missed now? Two. Shit. Yeah. Both of them games. Really he played missed. one quarter. I yeah. think one quarter don't count, man. Yeah, no. Two games, bro. We gonna say a game. We gonna say a game in three quarters. I don't want to put him on the IR. Got to. Yeah, nah. That for a week. He can come man, back. Man, he can come back. Yeah, he can come back though. That for that for a week mandatory though. But think about it, though. Yeah, but he can a, come back. That's a serious. Mm-hmm. That's a serious problem. Yeah. You know, if, you like, if if you don't put him on by a certain week, I think they have to set up for the rest of the year. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I would just go ahead and put him on there, and he can come back close out the season. How many games left? Nine. Yeah. Yeah. Four weeks. He at least play five of them if he's not seriously injured. Come I think on. the injury might be a little more than they. Put it on. Put it on. It might be done for the year. We just don't it, know it yet. Because, you know, another three week, another three more game, we'll have a bye week anyway. Yeah. So, hands ain't fucked up, though. Hands ain't fucked up, That's bro. sensitive. You got to be sensitive with that. You got to sit out the whole year. You can't put him out. You just can't be like, hey, get out there and run. No. I need to tear that shit up. He, all he done for the rest of life. cornerback. No way. Too much movement. Too much irking, Too much jerky. this way, that way. Cutting, stopping. A little too much. I fought the Falcons secondary. They ain't do too bad. They did bad against uh, uh, Cincinnati because they wasn't settled in because they not thinking they can get thrown in the game because AJ got hurt. Yeah. Like, oh, shit, what, get in the game? They, yeah, son. They played decent today. They played decent. They played decent. So uh, the boy got, the got some good receivers I, I can't there. blame it on the defense today. I can't blame it on the offense. Just shit just didn't team, go your just way, team man. Lost. Just one of them things. Definitely could have pulled it out. Or you could have lost it. You could have went either way. And that, it was definitely a playoff style game. And speaking of playoffs, the division as they stand today, AFC East, Buffalo Bills number one, six and two. Jets number two, six and three. Mm. Buffalo Bills are 0 and 2 in the division. Oh. Wow. Oh. New York Jets are 2 and 1. Mm. Miami Jets. Dolphins are 2 and 1. Oh, shit. Patriots are 1 and 1. Wow. They're the only winless team in the division that was the Buffalo Bills. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. AFC North, Baltimore Ravens, we 5-3, and 2-1 on the division. That's good. Cincinnati Bengals, 5-4, and 0-3 oh and three in the division. Cleveland Browns, 3-5, and 2-1 and one in the division. We beat them. Pittsburgh Steelers, 2-6, and 1-1 one and one in the division. So we in control. We get that one tomorrow, we'll be 6-3. So the Bengals 0-3? 0-2 oh, in, oh, in the division. They're they no. not going to make the playoff. 0-3 oh, in the division. They're not going to make the playoff. Probably not. Oh, they got them in second wild, in the division because of the record. Yeah, nah, not 0-3. Oh, but they, they, they still got to play everybody. They still got to play us again. They got three more games. They got to play. They obviously done played all the, the loss to every team in the AFC North Absolutely. already. And they got to play us all again. They're going to they gonna leave at least one of them losses. Shit, man. Might they be two. Chase come back 100. Yeah. Cause, it's, cause they can win another another division team, you know. But we, 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 no, I'm saying like out of they out get, of the they division, can be, they can but be in Pittsburgh. the division, you know, you know them the teams in your division, you mm. know them. They teams. can beat Pittsburgh. They can't beat the Ravens. So if you go 0 and six, and you win all your other, they, games. they done lost to Pittsburgh already, right? Yeah. They 0 and three. I don't know if they played somebody twice. But nah, hell not. The Brown beat them like last week. We beat them. But get what though, if you go eleven and six, and all six losses in your, you're not making the playoff. I don't give a fuck. You do got eleven. You, you'll be a wild card. You want to be a wild card? You lost all your division games. No, no, you'll be a wild card though. Not if you lost all your. Not, now you lost all your division games. And then you got eleven wins. Don't matter. You, you lost crazy. all no, your. No, no, you no, lost no, all no. your games. Just right. you you get let me finish the AFC. Okay. Then we'll go to the conference. Okay. We'll see how that's going to work. Okay. Uh, Tennessee Titans five and two, three and on the division. Colts three five and one, one three and one in the division. Jacksonville Jaguars one and two in the division at three and six, and the Houston Texans one six and one. They're one one and one in the division. <laughs> Yo, how y'all do that? That's a lottery number. Kansas, <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs five and two, two and on the division. Los Angeles Chargers five and three, two and one. Denver Broncos three and five, zero oh and two division. Raiders two and six, one and two in the division. Let's go to the NFC East. Philadelphia Eagles eight and zero, oh, two and on oh, the division. Cowboys six and two, two and one division. Giants six and two, zero and one the division. Washington Commanders four and five, zero and two in the division. Minnesota Vikings seven and one, three and zero in their division. Green Bay Packers three and six, one and two division. Bears three and six, zero and two division. Detroit Lions two and six, one and one division. Falcons four and five, one and two in the division. 
Buccaneers four and five, two and one division. Saints three and five, one and two the division. Carolina Panthers two and seven, two and one the division. And the Seahawks six and three, two and one. 49ers four and four, three and zero oh division. Mm. Los Angeles Rams three and five, one and two in the division. And the Cardinals three and six, zero oh and three in their division. We're gonna take it over to the conference. See how they stand. In the AFC, top four teams: Buffalo Bills, Tennessee Titans, Kansas City Chiefs, Baltimore Ravens. Top four. That's it. Crazy because the Chargers are supposed to be with the Titans. At. That's the four hours. Yeah. Beginning mm. of the season. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I think everybody got hurt. And coming out, uh, got the Jets, Dolphins, Chargers, Patriots, Bengals, Colts, Browns, Broncos, Jaguars, Raiders, Steelers, Texans. So currently. Cincinnati's ninth in the division, nigga. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no wild card. They ain't even a wild card for ain't real. Wild card, my nigga. Not, all. not at this point, anyway. No, no, no. They ain't even a wild card. Uh, in the East, I'm sorry, the NFC. Eagles, Vikings, Seahawks, Falcons. Who top four? Top four. It's good. <laughs> I can't be. Yeah, I ain't mad. I ain't Cow- mad, bro. Cowboys six and two. Giants, 49ers, Commanders, Rams, Bucks, Saints, Packers, Cardinals, Bears, Lions, and Panthers. So I see what they did here. They put all the division leading teams mm-hmm. first. Yep. So y'all. The playoffs will start right now. Yeah, They'll be in the playoffs. Y'all be in the playoffs. Yeah. But y'all record is worse than the Jets, Dolphins. Mm-hmm. And the Cowboys. No, no. Y'all record is worse than the Cowboys. I'm sorry. Cowboys, Giants, 49ers, 4 and 4. Ooh, 0 oh, 3. Cincinnati and, and got Cincinnati. Got everybody. So that record better now too. I was talking about the East. Oh, oh, NFC, oh, oh, yeah, 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 NFC. NFC. Oh, my NFC man. So y'all, y'all beating y'all division, but uh, only teams y'all really in the mix with as far as getting up: uh, Cowboys, Giants, and the Forty Niners, and mm. the Commanders too, because y'all got the same record as the Commanders, but they zero and two in the division. If we get, so, if we get two win, if we get, if we win with our uh, our conference game, our division game, bro. We gonna have home field advantage, bro. Absolutely. We could lose the rest of all our games on the outside. That's the goal, man. That's the goal. It's always that's the goal really to win. Goal. You want to go take care of the division yeah, first. That's, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's your first. That's that's your you want to go five goal. one your division. You want to lock some shit down. Five one or six and zero. Give yourself the best chance to at least get in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. And then right now, y'all, y'all top four in the NFC. That shit crazy, ain't it? That shit crazy. I ain't gonna need cap. I'm a Falcon fan. That shit crazy to me right now. Like, damn, that shit do... work, boy. That's a, it's, it's, that's at, not at y'all the doing perk something factor. Right. Y'all doing something right, man. Mm-hmm. You got to do something right. Well, man. I'm ready to go ahead and close it on out, man. It's been real. <laughs> been fun. Hello. I want to say again, man. And on the comedian side of the game, shout out to my man Ronnie Jordan. Just text him. Just text me and shit. But uh, on the Atlanta comedy side of the game, man, they lost two absolute legends in comedy, my nigga. Real legend. Shout out to my man Nara Holston, man. I met Nara through Ronnie. Um... Great guy, man. Always showed me love, and I returned the same, man. He did a lot, you know, in the beginning of Ronnie's career to, you know, help him start out, you know, with the comedy game. He gave Ronnie a lot of game and shit, man. And, you know, um, shouts to everybody that was close to him. Rest in peace, Nard, Austin, and uh, another Atlanta legend, uh, Dirty South, Mm -hmm. also known as, I think her name is Tanita Camp. But she's a fucking beast, man. I've never seen her. Either one of them on stage, and they not absolutely destroy it. Yeah, take care of Ben. I'm talking mm-hmm. about years and years and years in the game, man. And you know, being with Ronnie, my homeboy and shit, man. Well, I've been around the comedy scene a long fucking time. Being being around, being in spots, and them two motherfuckers who uh, you want to pay your money. That's two you pay your money to see. So rest in peace, you know. Shouts to the Atlanta Comedy Game, man, for producing legends and still got new legends on the way up. Um, it's life, man. Shit short, baby. I'm not here forever, man. What you do in between. Um, tell somebody you love them, man. Sometimes people need to hear that. Like, so there are some people that don't hear that shit at all from anybody. Fact. So take pride in... When somebody tell you they love you and they mean it, not that fake shit, not that phony shit. You know, you know the difference when you hear it. You feel the difference when you hear it. 
Yeah. This one on Madness. Funny Man Joe. What the fuck going on? Boogie Brad. Yep. Dice Shakers Network. This is the Dice Shakers Podcast. Dice. Designer Dice Clothing. Mm-hmm. We about to crank that back on up. We in motion, man. Testing out the cameras today, man. Taking this shit to another level, man. You dig? Seeing what happened. It might go up, it might not. We're going to see. Brought to you by Royal Work Films. Shout out to Enrique Batiste, Mr. Glenn Work. Shout out to my man, Tez McClain, man. I'm about to do a video, man, for my new single on Apple Music title, Spotify. I got to smile, start smiling when I that say right. that. Hello. Is that right? You know, I'm in the video. All streaming Keep platforms. Shit, my boy. You know, song called Money Good. It's something I say on here all the time, man. I just, you know, my music is just life, basically. You know, I don't make it too hard. Man. Can we hear? But yeah. check it out. I'm nice. Don't get it twisted. I'm nice. I do it for fun, but I'm nice. Man, nice, son. Dice Shakers Podcast, Dice Shakers Network, brought to you by Royal Work Films. God bless the day. God bless the night, man. Everybody free. Stop what you're doing. Hey. Just don't nothing move but the money. Run your race.